YouTube what it do man we got a crazy one we got pop the balloon with Arlette Amuli or however you say her name this is my first time watching one of her videos but it should be going crazy so I'm gonna tap in I'm gonna tap in it's like a pop the balloon type of thing but professional with it let's get into it Believe it or not, the reason why you haven't blown up as an artist yet isn't because of your lyrics, your voice, your connections, your marketing, none of that. It all has to do with one very simple Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, we have got a group of single men waiting to come out here and meet y'all. So when they come around this corner, they'll come out one by one. If you're feeling him, if he's your type, he checks off all of your check boxes. Do not pop your balloon. However, you know, if there's something he said that you're like, oh, red flag, or you know, you just really can't see yourself dating this guy, go ahead and pop your balloon. And I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Yeah, all I know is my girl better stay in the line the whole time because she mine. No cap. Everybody else, chopped cheese. Well, this girl right here in the orange ain't that bad, but chopped cheese. All chopped cheese. Girl in the cowboy hat, I want her. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. Tight how you doing, Alain? Good, good. How are you? Can I'm we get great. your name? My name is Brian. Brian, how old are you? I'm 40. 40 I'll and be 41 in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for cool. a major airline. All right. So now, I fix planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun? Um, I like trail riding. Mm. I live in what? Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country country guy okay? okay i'm still city but you know i like to do country things uh, i like to read um i'm from the ghetto but i am a nerd okay what? i like to read i want to know about things that i don't know okay um i like to go lounges right i like to go to museums you know i just like to really um have a good time okay mm -hmm. nice now what are some things that you're looking for in a woman transparency for sure Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know, mm. right? Uh, loyalty. That 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 really. Um, for men, that's a big thing. Loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying and having a good time that you, loyalty and you faithful, mm. to a man like me. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto, so I understand that Bro, you know we that? do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh, yeah, is really damn. a problem. Mm -hmm. yep. So I don't really have any. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Deal breakers, but as PG far as nigga. deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right. Let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Okay. Mrs. I'm 39. Oh, she put, put the IG yeah. on. You said 39? 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah. Shout out to makeup artist, Mrs. She Parker. She put the IG. <laughs> All right. And Mrs. Why did you end up popping mm -hmm. your balloon? I popped mm -hmm. your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers. And everybody has to have some type of deal breaker. So you have to have something that you don't like. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Okay. I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, Bruh. right? So nothing that you've done in your past 
It doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. So that's why I say I don't have any deal breakers because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know, you're, you're not my type because of what you've done in your past, not knowing that that wasn't right or wrong. Okay, so that's why. Respect. Mm -hmm. And now, um, is Mr. someone that is your type? She de definitely. She got this cow girl going on. I'm from the <laughs> south, right? You know, so I like your outfit. I like what you got going on, definitely. Thank you. All right, let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. Um, hi, I'm Tracy, and I'm 37. I'm from New Orleans as well, and mm -hmm. I live in the mm -hmm. DMV. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans and just the energy I just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as, like, energy, I feel like I've dated guys from New Orleans before and it just did not work out for me. So I think because we come from the same place, it just clashes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So since we come from the same place, it clashes? Yeah. You know, I, I, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences mm, dating you, people from my hometown. You never met Brian. You never met Brian, Maybe. but today that you did, you know what I mean? And today, definitely, you was a winner. But, uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because I respect my home and I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal, right? What? Mm -hmm. And I definitely was feeling you. But, Thank you. you know, since you popped on me, we don't really deal with rejection too well. We respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. And then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, so I work in management. So the person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of by my career. Yeah. What industry? What management? What industry? Um, I wouldn't like On to say. Bench? Yeah, I would like to discuss that with the person that I match with. I think that's a little more in depth. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're looking good today. I love the orange. <laughs> Definitely. Let's go to our next lady here. If you don't know how to make chords, this is it. Congratulations. <laughs> the chords are already made for you. All you do in your doll, whatever doll it is, is literally just drag and drop. We can drag one of these. We can have your name and age. Um, my name is Chanel Kent, and I am originally from Gary, Indiana. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, Coco Stiletto and Instagram. Yeah, chopped cheese, I have my own business. I'm a consultant, business consultant, and I also create trivia games that I sell on Amazon. Okay, and I'm sorry we didn't get your age. I am 42. Oh, um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is it's pretty much and you have already answered. Um, you didn't have any deal breakers. Um, I need someone that knows what he wants. Um, I can be a handful sometimes as well. So and, and it can be anything. So it's got to be something that makes you tick that you can be honest about. So that's why I popped my balloon. And you kind of remind me of my nephew. Just kind of. My nephew is crazy. Okay. Kind of remind you of my nephew? Okay. Um, so you said the deal breakers were because I don't have a deal breaker? Correct. Okay, well, I could have a clean... I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he want and don't want. And, and, and you that can't will, tell me that, and, and I that, might jump all over you. And that will come, definitely. I will definitely tell you where you're going wrong at. Mm -hmm. But as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean slate with everybody. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. I'm going to give you that grace before I don't give you that grace, Right but I respect how you feel. I like that response. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might circle back, but. Oh. You might go get back? You might. You want your balloon back? Do, do you want yet. that balloon back? Oh, Not wait. yet. Okay. <laughs> you, you got the gift of gab, I see. So we're just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I got the gift of gab. Let's go it's transparency, next, love. <laughs> okay, if we can start off with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae, I'm 34. Hello, and Janae. Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant. And I'm a new entrepreneur, just about to launch my fitness clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? Hey, Brian, I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of ghetto too, so I like them a little loose. And yeah, that, uh, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. You're 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies, okay. I should have said zero, because mm. it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? Holy shit. No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Holy shit, three baby daddies and they all, oh, bro, what the fuck was she doing? Was, she was outside and they all dead beats? All three? Nah. There's no that man in my life. wicked. No man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Um. Uh, 
Well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. Damn. So, what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? <laughs> something. Mm. Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Possibly, but I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right, but to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants. You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. You know, with everything going on. The pants is tight. I shit, like bro. the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's go on over here. We can have your that. name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? And what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman, so having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. Yep. What do you mean, check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. You said that. TikTok creator manager? For what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. The TikTok? Social media. Okay, social media? Social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? Damn. No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just asking because for real men. <laughs> Damn. This nigga so. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even blame bro because they was chopped no anyways. You probably ain't want them. But. Damn. Nah, this nigga a savage. Is this how I get on this? Bro, this is my first time watching it. What the fuck? That's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got married. That's pregnant, definitely but right. That's nor here or there, and that's yeah, not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. Thank you. Let's go back Damn. here. Okay. If you're seeing this video, it's your sign that you have a message inside you that is meant to reach a whole bunch of people. And I guess... If we can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay, and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? I'm doing amazing. Shay, oh, what do you do? Um, so I work for the county, and I have my own hair business and a few other little small businesses. Okay. All right. And now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? So originally, I was feeling it. I, I, I like a—I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's outspoken. But the question of—I feel like you're challenging the women. Oh, how many baby daddies you got? And then, you know, it, it just that's, it does that matter? You say future, so that's they past. It's not they future. How many uh, kids do you have? I have one daughter. She's 19. Do you want more? I do. My balloon still pop because I don't want any more. Okay. You don't want any more? Not at all. I have you a, can't I have, have any more? You, you, no, you I'm choose not I to choose have not any more. I choose not to have any more. I have an okay. uh, almost 14-year-old. In... Okay. Yeah. Well, the reason for me asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future. Yep. If you didn't, didn't want to have a baby daddy for the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future? Not, because not, I mean, I can look at you and say, say like you, you, you made, people make mistakes and it could happen. I, I feel like once or twice, okay, some things become a choice, but no, your no, past no. doesn't determine. When it comes to w once is a mistake. Twice, that's on you. Okay, so then say like you get into a relationship with somebody, you get married and things don't work. So then I guess you made a mistake. Or, and then, so you, once is a mistake and then twice is, I don't believe in that. Cause I believe, Things happen. Sweetheart, twice is on you. Okay. You should have learned from that very no. first mistake. Okay. And not learned. saying that your child is a mistake, right? Of course. But the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with. And secondly, not to have a marriage after the next one or before marriage the next one. Determine. And I'm I'm a person that wants to be married, but marriage don't determine anything. I've known people to be married for a long time and it don't work out, baby. So okay. yeah, you are no, honey, but okay. you, you're too aggressive now. No problem. Oh, well, you know, uh, the aggressiveness that comes from a southern man, uh, right? Baby, let me explain and we stand on what we talk Our about. Roots come from Texas, so mm. Okay, I'm from no. New Orleans. Okay, so you, you know what I mean. South, so when you, right, like Ryan, let's move okay. on. Let's move on. Let's no move problem. On. Have a good day, <laughs> on, bro. 
If we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. And Shay, what do you do? Hello, Shay. I am an insurance adjuster, and I'm just waiting to take my real estate license. Very nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Just based off of the energy. I didn't want to pop it too soon. I like to fill you out first, but just based off of the energy and the conversations that were had between the women, just overall, that's it. Okay. So you're a follower? No. I just, I went out, that's why I said I didn't pop it right away. I wanted to see for myself. Okay, so you didn't like just, my responses and the women that, that I responded to? You didn't like the responses? Just the energy from it, mm. yeah. The, the energy is too strong for you, huh? Not necessarily too strong. I just, just didn't too much care for it. That's understandable. I respect that, though. Thank you. Okay. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. Davinia, and I'm 41. And Davinia, what do you do? I'm a compliance analyst for a payment processing company. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, the connection, chemistry. And I believe he was speaking very well, very suave, handsome gentleman. So I was trying to give it some time. But then it started to feel like an attack. And I, don't, I didn't like or agree with the attack. So that was why I popped my balloon. Okay. So you say it felt like an attack. Can you elaborate on that? Um, you don't judge people from their past or you like to start off with a clean slate. Mm. Um, I don't think that if a relationship works out for a woman and it happens to be her second kids, her second baby daddy, per se, um, I don't think that's her fault. So if she decides to stay and marry the man, like Brian says, then that means she's settling. And I don't agree with a woman having to settle just because the opinions of others thinking that, you know, it's going to be her fault. It's her fault because it didn't work out. No. Okay. Because people, they start off with different personas and then you slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you decide to walk away because that situation isn't healthy for you, that doesn't mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out. Okay. Okay. So there's four billion women on the planet. Mm -hmm. I'm a black American from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I have the choice to, to, to have the pick of the litter. Mm -hmm. So why would I pick you if you have multiple baby daddies? Well, Yo, nah, this mm -hmm. nigga OC, fool. This nigga, this nigga a super villain, bro. What the? I ain't never heard nobody talk like this, bro. This nigga is a super villain. Nah, I might have to, yeah, I might have to get like, bro, I'm a black man from Atlanta. I have the choice of the pick of the litter. I can choose any woman I want to, depending on how I feel. If you have multiple baby daddies, you're not the one for me, and that's my choice. Yeah! Yeah! Right. Yeah. And you I have understand the choice. that. You have the choice. We all I have, have the, a choice. I have the choice, but yeah. you're judging me on the fact that I have the choice. No, I'm not judging you. That just means that I'm not for you. If you're going to judge me because my second baby daddy didn't work out for me, then I'm not for you. You know, so I'm not judging and you I understand and your opinion that. How many kids and your you preference. Have? I have three. You have 25, three? 18, and 12. Okay, how many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn. So there's no, there's no disrespect towards that, right? Mm -hmm. But I just want you to understand, when it comes to a man of top tier, right, we give you a few from one man. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that, that, that disqualifies yourself. So it disqualifies a top tier woman from getting a top That's tier That's exactly man right. Why? Because there's has. billions of women on this planet. Okay. All right. Well, all right? I respect your opinion. Okay. Okay. Well, Brian, that is all the balloons popped. No problem. Hey, do man. You might not have got no ladies, but I respect you, bro. I respect you, gang. I, you taught me something. I got to hold myself with more confidence. I'm a man. She ain't finna just have baby daddies. And I'm dead ass, bro. I respect that, bro. I learned something from this dude. He got confidence, man. And I respect that. He may have walked out, and he might only have his right hand at the end of the day. But at least he has his dignity. Do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Do you ever wonder how Nectar can offer such an incredible deal for their adjustable bundle? This bundle includes the Nectar. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next. Hopefully we don't have no simps on the way, man. That, that dude, he got too much confidence. I'm, I'm going to see a simp by a mile away. Single guy. Let's see. Hello, welcome hey. in. I'll have you hold that. What's your oh, name? Shit. My name's Josh. I'm 37. Okay, and Josh, what do you do? I invest in stocks and uh, I'm getting into content creation. Okay, so, nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I play a lot of basketball, uh, poker, hmm. 
you know, things like that. That's, okay. that's mainly oh, what I do my take my nice. most yeah. of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I don't, I don't too much care for some people that smoke, like okay. especially cigarettes and things like that. So somebody that likes to be in the gym, mm -hmm. you know, like an active woman, cause I'm active myself. Um, somebody that's loyal, mm -hmm. humble. Okay. Like those are the main things. Got it. Now, what are yeah. some of your deal breakers? Uh, well, the smoking for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that's the biggest thing. Um, a liar. Mm. I don't care for a liar, but those okay. are the main two. All right. Got it. Mm. All right. So, Josh, we don't have any pop balloons, so you're doing pretty well. And so what that means is I'm actually going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So there are quite a few ladies here. So for the first round... Everyone always says, oh my God, it's so tough. But yeah, I'm gonna have you pop <laughs> three balloons. Dang, kind of just based already? off of what you're seeing, who doesn't really fall oh, into your type, whatever it may be. So let me hand you this. Uh, oh yeah, I like this. And go ahead and pop those three and then yeah, get, I'll go yeah, ahead um, and ask you why we're gonna pop in them after. Okay. Get, get her up out hey, of here. Three. Get yes her, sir, three get balloons. Her get her out of here. Let's get see. her out of here. Get, get pink dress up out of here first. Damn. Okay, two more. Damn. And one more. Damn. Okay, let's start with the first. No, that is embarrassing. No, this host is petty. <laughs> no, I will be. I'm going to keep watching these, bro. No fucking way, bro. This is embarrassing. Nah, they is chopped, though. This girl in the brown, she ain't that chopped, but the, these two, yeah, they, they chopped, they chopped. So when you ended up popping. They chopped cheese. I don't, I don't, she might have got popped <laughs> All by right, this All right, so we can start with your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. And Shay, uh, you did have your balloon unpopped for Josh. Why so? Because when he came out, I just I thought he was attractive, and I just wanted to hear more about him. Okay, all right. Feel his energy out. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh, why'd you end up popping Shay's balloon? Uh, just not my type. Uh, <laughs> It's that simple. Okay. And what makes her not really your type? She's so petty, bro. She is petty. No, she is trying to start something. First, she go make the nigga pop off a track. Oh, my God. It's not normally the type I go for. Uh, maybe the dress. Not really, you know, my thing. But No, that dress is crazy. Like she's, she's a beautiful woman. Just not, not my type. Okay. All right. Let's go on to our next lady over here. <laughs> if we can start with your name and age. Divinia, I'm 41. And Davinia, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Josh? Um, I think Josh is handsome, and I think he was well-spoken. So I just wanted to see if the vibe was there, chemistry, and obviously it wasn't, so. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> and Josh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, popping uh, her balloon, yeah. Um, just, uh, I don't like a lot of makeup, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I just, that's all, that's all it is. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. all I have to go off of, you know. Got it. All uh, right. Thank you. Yeah. And over here, if we can start with your name and age. My name is Chanel Coco Stiletto. I'm 42. Okay. And Chanel, you had your balloon on pop for Josh. Why? Well, he came out very handsome, well-spoken. However, he did say his deal breaker was smoking. I am not a smoker when it comes to cigarette, but I am a medicinal. So I'm pretty sure that's, I was going to pop my balloon, but I figured you can do it for yourself. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> All right. And Josh, why did you end up popping her balloon? I actually don't mind weed. Like, oh. that's cool. It's just the cigarettes. Like, yeah. that is what it is. But just like the makeup and you know what I mean? Like, I like a more natural look. So that's okay. pretty much All right. Cool. It. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we do still have quite a few balloons Ooh. left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question to help you narrow it down. Hey, um, do any of y'all have kids? Uh, everyone. Everyone, I guess. Okay. <laughs> they all got you. Okay. We got Michelle, okay. Um, I guess I'll just ask a different question. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I got kids too, so we good. How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Two kids, okay. How many kids y'all got? Okay. Let's, oh, oh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to come to y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start here. Okay. If we can have your name and age and how many kids do you have? Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. I'm 39. And I have two kids, um, a girl, 20, and my son is 15. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Name and age and how many kids you have? Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm 37, and I have one child. I have a daughter who's nine. Okay. And down over here, <laughs> your name and age and how many kids you have? I'm Shay, I'm 37. I have one son who will be 14 on the 8th of this month. Okay. 
Name and age and how many kids you have. Hey, Josh, I'm Janae. I have three kids. Okay. Uh, what ages? 17, 12, and 7. Okay. 17, 12, and 7. All right. Name and age and how many kids you have? Venusian, 39. I have a son, he's 20, and a daughter that's 7. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's back it on up. <laughs> I don't think we got the age of your kids. I know you said you have two. Yeah, I have a 13-year-old and an 8-year-old. Okay, 13 and 8. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions for these ladies? Kind of help you narrow it down. I don't know. I, don't, I guess the kids aren't a deal breaker, obviously, for you. No, I mean, okay. <laughs> actually, I prefer kids because at least you know what it is. But, got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is your toxic trait? Mm, okay. What is your toxic the trait? Boy, boy, Introducing Auto Tune Unlimited, the, the most yet. comprehensive collection hey. of vocal plugins and ever like offered. My girl, it is what it is. She got Whether you're making anyway, hit records bro, in the I'm studio, not, I'm not the man recording in your up, bedroom, you but, or but performing if she, live, Auto Tune Unlimited. On that. That's best believe, bro. I think I can read energy, and sometimes I might overthink things a little too much. Like I might read into the energy a little too much, which can create just create like overthinking. So, so you jump to conclusions. I wouldn't necessarily say I jump to conclusions, but like I just probably think sometimes a little too much. You, so you jump to conclusions. Mm -hmm. Potentially jump to conclusions, but mm -hmm. not quite. Okay. No, <laughs> I, I when you overthink things, like we're all human, you know. So like mm -hmm. it's like a we all overthink sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's your toxic trait? I believe my toxic trait is seeing red flags and still trying to work through the potential of a person. So I think that hasn't worked well for me, um, always trying to see the good um, instead of just letting certain situations go. Okay. Okay, let's go down here. All right, what's your toxic trait? I'm always trying to help people and I tend to hinder people sometimes. Like it's kind of unhealthy sometimes because I'm always like, trying to I help overly help okay okay <laughs> what's your toxic trait um she toxic. if I'm not being heard I get a little frustrated can probably get loud yeah she's so that's my toxic she toxic bro I'm telling you right now she toxic she toxic do you I get violent you. no okay. but I am <laughs> I'm just <laughs> aggressive a little bit yeah okay. yeah, yeah yeah by yeah. nature but Ver not on verbally <laughs> Verbally, okay. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I get a little loud when I'm frustrated and not being hurt. Okay. Yeah. I like All that, right. baby. What's your toxic trait? <laughs> uh, detaching. Completely withdrawing. Yeah. Like, mm. all the time or just something? No, just like if we are having a disagreement and, again, like I'm not being heard, I withdraw. So, I'll mm. need some time. Okay. Well, what is up with her chin, boy? Okay. Thank you. Okay, fuck? Josh, I am gonna have you pop two balloons. Hey man, let's based see. Based off of you know he the things you've pop. heard, he what you've seen, shoddy. all that good stuff. Okay. Um, Just look at the EOC. I'm gonna go right here. You think he okay, and then one more. And right here. Okay, so why did we end up popping her balloon? Cause she she too nice, like a people pleaser. <laughs> I don't. Cause I've, I've dealt with that before and you know what I mean? Like I can't, like a people pleaser, I can't do it. Mm. I wouldn't like, necessarily call it a people pleaser, but if you knew my background, I, like I do a lot of um, giving back and things of that nature. So I have a heart. So I'm not gonna say a people pleaser because I do have a flip side of me, okay. like to a certain extent, but no, Man, we respect. don't give a damn. Okay. So, but you put people before yourself. No, 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 no. To, to a default, right? No, 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 I don't put people before myself, I extend. A lot of help like I'm always there to try to help someone and sometimes that can be unhealthy like let them figure it out stop trying to help them mm -hmm. now I'm not gonna put anybody before myself because I'm a mother so I have to have my sanity and things of that nature to be a parent but mm -hmm. yeah I just everybody knows I'm always helping so <laughs> see but the thing about that is you're gonna stress yourself out and then you're gonna come home and I got to deal with that mm because you're trying to do too much for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't bring so. problems home, but Stop. Okay. still respect. Okay. Okay. Still respect. respect. Still Stop. respect. 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 Yeah, okay. I'm not bringing it home. We, we leaving it at the front door. Okay. <laughs> respect. Right, Let's go over here. Why do you end up popping this balloon? Because she loud. Oh. I just, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very chill. So you know, if you're too loud, like, nah, I'm good on that. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. Wait, is, is Let's my go back special? over here. We did get a pop. Where was the pop? Back here, back here, back here. Okay, why did we end up popping our balloon? I pop because I could get loud sometimes. Like, I'm chill, but I like to be loud sometimes. So, I don't want somebody like, oh, you're too loud. You'll be loud with me. But are you disrespectful? No. I don't care if you loud, like, because you having fun, but I mean, like, when you disrespectful. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank you for clarifying. Like, yeah. So, do you, after you clarify that, do you want the bloom back or is it? I'm gonna leave it pop. Oh. You're very handsome, though. Thank you. Yeah, okay. chill you're very pretty. You sold. Thank you. You sold. All right, so we do you have sold. two balloons left on pop. You sold, Ladies, brother. any questions sold. for Josh? Just take the girl in the orange there? dress okay. and get on let's, about let's your day. Go down there. She has a question. Get on about your day. Take the girl in the orange dress and get up out of here, bro. You sold. When working as an electrician, accidents can happen. But that's where Next Insurance comes in. As an independent electrician, I'm an expert at the chill shit. <laughs> All right, what's your question? How do you um, resolve conflict? What's your conflict resolution style? Um, I think communication is very important. So I think it's important to like take a step back and see where you're wrong and just kind of see how you can find some middle ground and talk talk through things because 99 percent of the time it's just misunderstanding you know if you talk get through it mm -hmm. so that's and do you know your love languages um i like kisses on the neck and compliments <laughs> physical touch, <laughs> physical touch and words of affirmation right <laughs> well fit, like fit, i'm not gonna say physical touch because like i like my space right so I don't like to be crowded or, you know, Stop what I mean? like, talking. even like in bed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like you got your side. I got my side. Stop don't over come talking. Here. Right. <laughs> not, and it's, it's not like <laughs> this nigga keeps talking and selling the more he talks. Shut the fuck up. I know how that sounds, but I just like my space. I just put it that way. She okay. about to pop so it. She about to pop kiss me on my neck all you want. You know, um, she better pop it. Yeah. And just compliment me and we good. Okay. <laughs> And what's your sun sign? My what? Your, your sun what? sign. My sun, I don't know. Like my, like... Uh, your zodiac. Okay, zodiac. I'm a Capricorn. Okay. Those are all my questions. Okay. Your sun sign. All right, sign. let's head what on back hell? this way. Got any questions for Josh? Um, so, I have a few, actually. Yes. Um, so, who currently is delusional about you? <laughs> So are you single? Do you believe you're single? Or is there anyone out there that believes they're in Good a relationship question. with you? I'm, um, I'm single. I am single. Uh, I, I do have a rotation, but... Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? That's what I'm saying. This nigga keeps saying dumb shit. Like, bro, um, <laughs> these niggas just be saying dumb shit. Yeah, I got a rotation. What, nigga? Fucking clown. <laughs> Thank you. But Thank you for I your honesty. I just gotta be honest because it's gonna come out eventually. So you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Like I appreciate it. But you, mm -hmm. Josh. What do you mean you by you have a rotation? I talked to several females. You know. That's it, a pH just, balance issue. Gonna... No, sir. I'm Damn. not doing nothing with it, with everybody if, if that's what you're trying to get at. But mm -mm. we talk on the phone. You know. Mm -mm. <laughs> I need my man to be my man, my man, my man, and crazy about me and only me. So when you talk to me, you drop everybody else. Mm -mm. So so make me crazy about you. Maybe I'll drop the rotation. It's probably some sweet girl out there that's crazy about you that's already in rotation. <laughs> she probably loves you. This no, nigga is dumb, bro. <laughs> nah, we we I, I won't let it get to that point unless like it's you know what I mean. It's got to be. Nah. Yeah, bro, you sold, man. <laughs> she <laughs> popped down here too after you this said something about you got here, rotation. Bro. This nigga All right. Stuck. I feel like y'all don't got rotation. I know y'all got rotation. What you mean? Y'all be the worst. So it was players. the rotation. It was that and the makeup comment. Like I like a nice clean beat. I I live for it. So I'm not gonna stop wearing makeup because you don't like it. I didn't say it was a deal breaker. I just said I don't like too much makeup. But... Well, I like makeup. <laughs> okay. What you got on is cool. Like, I ain't worried about it. I appreciate it. that. But you said you don't like it, and I wear it, like, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you, you overthinking that one, but I. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Josh, I'm I thought we had somebody for you. <laughs> Get up out of here, bro. 
<laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Thank you for coming on, Get Josh. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, clown. I got a rotation. <laughs> The one plugin that I want to showcase here is this bad boy. It's called Stupid the God Part. The only thing that you. All right, Stupid. let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Oh my name is Tim. Tim, how old are you? 37. And what do you do? Uh, I work do side work right now, and I'm a professional day trader. Okay, all right. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, pretty much. No, this nigga drove three hours. <laughs> read. Um, I like to read charts. Um, take walks. I meditate. Um, I do like yoga. Okay. A um, little different things. So. Got it. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, someone that can actually just you know make my life easy. I mean, I'm getting older, and um, there's a lot going on. So I'm here to just uh, build a partner and just just grow together. You know. Okay. Got it. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, someone that's, I would say, a woman that's like, like isolated, mm. okay. more like um, not really in, in tune with their family or anything like things like that. Um, oh, and I would say, gosh. honestly, I would say probably drinking and smoking. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. So we did get um, some balloons popped here. Let's go over to some, some of these ladies and see what's going. All the balloons pop, bro. What did what did he do? I don't even get it. What did he? What did he do? Oh no. Okay. Okay, we can start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Mrs. Parker. Uh, I go by Mrs. I'm 39. I popped your balloon. You're, you seem like you're very sweet, but it's just physically not my type. Okay. And like, what makes him like physically not your type? It's most likely the the braids. I don't really like the braids. Okay. But you dress nice. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> and now is Mrs. Someone that's your type? No. Okay, and what makes her not your type? Um, I'm not really into like the tattoos. Um, I do like the outfit though. Thank you. Sure. And the hat. Tattoos. This nigga on some stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Um, hi, my name is Tracy. I'm 37. And the reason why I ended up popping is just you're not my normal type. I know I'm, I'm trying to kind of get away from trying to, you know, pick my normal type because that wasn't working for me. But I just don't feel like it will be a strong, intimate um, right. connection between us. And I feel like we have to start building on emotional and physical intimacy um, from the jump. So I just didn't feel like that physical, like, ooh, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think you are presented yourself very nice. Like, I love your outfit. Like, I think you're a very, very well-spoken person. And I hope you find your match. Thanks. And now, is she someone that is your type? No. Okay. I'm g I know you said you don't like <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, maybe that's yeah. it, but is there anything else? Um, yeah, just not, I would say, not sexually attracted. Um, okay. And uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name's Chanel Coco Stiletto. Um, I'm 42. I popped my balloon. Um, it's the hair, probably. Okay. I really like your fit together. What kind of shoes are those, by uh, the way? Tommy Hilfiger. I like them. You look very nice. Thanks. It's just the braids is giving, you know, woman up, Chris. I'm about to. So, that's I'll all. I Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? No. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? Um, she's, I would say I'm, I'm, I'm more attracted to younger women. Um, you're older. I can see probably like us doing business together or something like that, networking, um, and just just not attractive. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go on over here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Davinia, and I'm she 41. And it seems like I did him a favor because he doesn't like tattoos, he doesn't <laughs> like older women, and he doesn't like women that drink or smoke. I don't smoke, but I drink sociably. So, um, and then um, I was trying to, you know, give it some time to see to fill them out but not my usual type i'm usually for more of a broad confident strong you know um but handsome guy very well dressed and well spoken okay all right let's see if this one changes is she your type no i'm not it's not <laughs> no. okay and why not i know i know i see the tattoo that's one thing i mean yeah it ain't really about i think you say you smoke 
No, I don't smoke. Or drink, I drink. You said drink. The only thing with I, drinking is like it kind of interferes with our intimate in in some senses because I mean, does it? It's, yeah, to me, it's 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 almost like we have to sometimes drink alcohol to be intimate, and that's not you know it no, should be that more intellectual. Mean you have to what like I don't even keep a, a stock of liquor at home, so I'm a social drinker. When I drink, I'm usually drinking because I'm out or something like that. I don't have to drink. But oh okay. I get it. Social yeah, drink. I mean, oh, I've never heard that. That's my alcoholic. I, there would, yeah, there would be no connection because yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not even a social drinker. Yeah, yeah I get so. it. Okay. That's good. Social drinker, <laughs> bro. That's the dumbest <laughs> shit ever. Yeah. So that means I'm Deadpool's like, roommate. What? Lying down. <laughs> ah, what? I can't see. Your a name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? My name is Shay and I'm 37 and I just popped my balloon. I think you're very well dressed. I just popped my balloon just because I just wasn't physically attracted. Yeah. That's all. Okay. And is there anything specific that, you know, is making I would say probably that? say the braids. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's all. All right. <laughs> and now, is Shay someone that's your type? No. Hell, <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> it's a that tough guy. <laughs> okay, and what makes no, her not your type? Um, yeah, she looks a little bit Older than like 45. Um, oh, 45. Shit. I'm not 45. Yeah, just look. I mean, just look older. Um, oh my God. She looks a little bit older than 45. I ain't gonna lie. She does look old, bro. Not attracted. Um, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> lost right now. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I like the, I do like the dress though, Thank for you. sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Shay and I'm 37. Obviously too old. I do have tattoos and you don't have a type. Because everybody's not your type so far. So to me, you don't have a type. Um, yeah, I do have a type. It's just um, <laughs> I'm not attracted to like, oh, let's say over women, older women. What's considered older? Um... I would say probably my age or older. I'm more into like, I can better do like 27, 28, 29, somewhere around there. Okay, yeah. respect. Okay. Stick it like I'm young. What's going over here? Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? Hey, I'm Janae, I'm 34. I popped because you said you're looking for someone to make your life easier or better. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a mom and I'm looking for a man for that. Well, I'm not looking for a man, but I mean, I'm there to support you, but I don't see how a woman could make it your life easier. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what I mean by that is like, it, like, cause I work hard, you know, yeah. I would say something like this, like my father would say like, because of the, I don't want to get, I'm already getting beat, beaten up in the world yes. by what's going on. I don't want to get beat up at home too, if I'm not having a good day and things like that. That's right. So I'm saying, Make my life easy. How you doing? You know, how how was your day today? Just just Home peace. Your yeah. Peace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So she's toxic, bro. I like that answer. Mm -hmm. okay. She's toxic. Like just, just just move on. She's um, toxic. And it was the braids too. She's yeah. not your piece, bro. I'm telling you, she is not your piece. Handsome, but Thanks. just do something different. Mm. Okay. What would you recommend? I would go straight back. Okay. If I were you. I would definitely take that consideration. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, is Janae someone that's your type? Uh, I would say yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Besides the tattoo. Yeah, the tattoo. The tattoo. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Yep. Thank you. And if we can get your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Venusian, 39. Um, the vibe wasn't there, and okay. I wasn't physically attracted. And then some of the deal the breakers, I do socially drink. And oh, I also um, moved away from family, so that isolation part is yeah. there too. So I'm not going to try to bring you into something that's not going to work for you. So there's that. Okay, all right. So is Venusia someone that's your type? No. Okay. And why not? Real. Um, hey, just not attracted. Um, and the the piercing on the, yeah, yeah, the piercing, yeah. <laughs> I don't think a lot of women can pull that off. Yeah. Hey, my boy, real. He may have had all the balloons pop, but he a real nigga. He he kept it real with them. He that he holds chopped cheese. He kept it real. I like niggas who keep it real. It ain't all about the match. Sometimes you can leave and say, "Hey, bro, at least I ain't lying." Shit, I like that. My boy kept it real, bro. Let's head on back. I like that. 
Well, that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. I'll take this. Right, take thank you. Bro, I'm trying to see a match, bro. Is anybody going to get a match? God damn. Can someone get a match? Uber has helped me just put my music out there and expand my fan base. They've helped me with Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. Let's get your name. Uh, my name is Reggie. Okay, Reggie, how old are you? 36. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I do financial literacy, uh, help people with their credit, uh, build passive income, start businesses, things like that. Very cool. What are some things I could do for fun? Um, so for me, it's not what you do, it's who you're with. <laughs> you do okay. the same thing you do with the right person, you can make it a good time. Um, but for me, um, because of that, I'm about experiences. So I like traveling, I like um, kind of building with your partner. Um, yeah, just having fun. Uh, okay. Video gaming as well, oh, of, course, video. of course. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, grown ass man right. playing video games. Hey, Fuck what are here. some things you look for in a woman? Um, I like um, a woman to be herself. Um, kind of, I like when people kind of can meet themselves or mm. who they are and just kind of accept it and grow from there, not kind of like change someone. Like, hey, you're into this, I'm into this. We can learn from each other. So, just someone who's open with themselves, comfortable being who they are. Okay. And now, what are some deal breakers? Um, <laughs> deal breakers for me, um, definitely smoking cigarettes and. Um, yeah, I would just say more so with the just with the what I just said as far as like trying to change. Like I'd rather grow as each other than just like you got to do things this way, you know, mm. things like that. Okay, all right. So we did get a few uh, pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Um, hi, my name is Tracy, and I'm 37. And the only reason why I popped, I mean, you're handsome, you got it going on. I loved everything that you said. You. I would not have popped, but I had just come out of an 11-year marriage, and video games was a major issue for me. So, yeah, I know you're not that person. <laughs> <laughs> so don't say, you know, you know, the past is not you, but it's just, for me, I don't like it. You know, I, I've never valued a man that played video games and i'm not saying that you know if that's your hobby you can't play video games but it's just something that brings up just something very negative for me so i just don't like it yeah i don't like the video games okay but everything else okay <laughs> 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 All right, and Reggie, is she someone that is your type? Um, definitely my type. I do have a question, though, as far as you're saying, like, for the video games, what type of struggles were you finding with that? Um, just more so time when I wanted to spend um, time together. You know, it's kind of just like the videos turned into leagues and all these things like that. So it was just a major part of the relationship that I felt like we could have spent together. Um, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. And then we got one down over here. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm 37. Oh, so goodness. very good looking, well-dressed brother. Thank you. So I popped my balloon and I wanted to elaborate on when you say how, like, are you a gamer gamer? Like you got a game all the time? <laughs> or is it like, I wanted you to elaborate. I have a um, almost 14 year old. So he's, he's, he's a gamer. Right. So when I hear somebody say video games, I'm like, is it something that's just what you must do? Like how often, how long? Um, Do you so have time for like family games game. outside of just video games? Yeah, so when I said, I don't know, well, maybe I did just say video games, but I meant yeah. games. So I like family night, like just family fun, Sunday fun day, stuff oh. like that, and just kind of doing different themes. Like I like to host it, make this it fun. So lying, yeah, games bro. like that, I rarely really have time to video game, video game. But if you have time for advice, you'll, you know, do this it for like 30 minutes, lying. whatever you got. But I'm a working man, so well, see, it's go. not realistic anymore. <laughs> you can't just say video games. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody gonna mess up video games for board games. This nigga be playing 2K and Fortnite and shit. <laughs> I put my balloon back together. But no, when I hear that, it's like when you say video games, I'm thinking he gonna sit on this game forever. But no, that's the reason I wanted to elaborate. Yeah, like, definitely. okay, what do you mean by that? Because I, I don't mind games, uh -huh. but family games, board yeah, games, definitely. outside games. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Now, is she someone that is your type? Um, yeah, well put together, well dressed, well Thank spoken. You. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so, we still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question to help us narrow it down. No yeah, problem on, at all. Bro, narrow this all right. shit down. <laughs> so, my first question is this um, Has anyone ever been um, in the entertainment business? And um, do, um, have you ever had uh, OnlyFans? Yeah, that's the question. No, she okay. definitely has OnlyFans. Start over here with your name and age and the answer to this question. Hey, I'm Mrs. Parker. I'm 39. Um, when you say entertainment business, do you mean like just OnlyFans or do you like, can you specify? Um, so like, uh, I would say like dancing, things like this. Strippers? Oh, no. All right. 
Stop lying. Th th that's good. Okay. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Chanel. I'm 42. Nice to meet you. And I would say I'm in the entertain. Never had OnlyFans. Um, I probably would break the internet if I was. <laughs> nah, However, I, it. I, I it. create trivia games. So one thing I noticed, as you mentioned, is that game night. Yes. Well, I have three games that I've created, and that I sell them on Amazon. Amazing. Family night, game night, hip hop edition. So I love to host those things as well. So that is the close I'm going to get with entertaining. And then, of course, with my consulting business, I, there's a few uh, networks that I work with as well. So. Perfect. I love that. Your name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Davinia. I'm 41, and no, I am not in the entertainment business. I never have been. So, yeah. If you don't know how to make chords, this is it. Congratulations. <laughs> the chords are already made for you. All you do in your doll, whatever doll it is, is literally just drag and drop. We can drag one of these chord progressions in. Boom, just like that. It's a vibe. The Unison MIDI chord pack. The Unison chord pack. The U Great. <laughs> Name and age and answer this question. My name is Shay. I'm 37 and I do not have an OnlyFans. I do double and dabble in acting. Yes. That's great. <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Janae, 34. Never know OnlyFans. Not my style, but I do sing and that's the only thing. That's great. You have some music out to kind of do it as a hobby? I do. I wanted to do it as a career, but I'm just focused on something new right now. I respect that. Yeah. I respect that. Thank you. <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to this question. Venusian39. I am a TikTok creator manager, so that's about the only entertainment platform I utilize. But other than that, no, I don't have an OnlyFans. All right, great. Don't <laughs> <laughs> ask questions. This. Okay. All right. So, Reggie, I'm going to have you pop two balloons mm. based off of what you're seeing and what you've heard so far. So, let me give you a pick. Okay, so Just based two. off the questions, mm -hmm. uh, tough, tough, tough. Okay, um, I am going to pop. This. Are you gonna follow me? Okay. Yeah, pop those two, and then <laughs> I'm gonna pop this. I don't one. know where you're popping. Uh huh. And one more. I'm going to pop. Uh, I'm gonna pop this one as well. Yes, sir, ski. Okay, let's start over here. <laughs> and so, um, Mrs. Mrs. Okay, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I was trying to like be patient. You're swagged out. I love your drip. I love the turtle necklace. Thank um, you. Just you give know, you a chance. Into the suit. I'm really not into bald heads. <laughs> so I was just trying to like not pop before you came out and just hear you out. Okay. So he's not your usual type? <laughs> <laughs> Again, like you, you look good. It's just the bald no okay. i'm just trying to you know got it really find love and like <laughs> step outside of my box so you know like for bald head the less hair you have the more head you get hey if it works for you so <laughs> i ain't shaving my head i don't have no <laughs> okay <Jokes. laughs> reggie why did you end up popping her balloon <laughs> um gorgeous beautiful um well presented i think just from some of the answers i like a few of the other answers better but that's literally it okay Respect. Thank you. And then let's go to the other one you ended up popping. Okay. And why did you have your balloon unpopped for Reggie? Um, when he came out, I felt like he was confident. I love the way he's dressed. Yeah. And I just wanted to hear more what he had to say in his energy. And Reggie, why did you end up popping her balloon? Yeah, same thing. I wish I could have got like a more meat to the bone question, but same type of thing. I kind of like just some of the, little, the other answers well put together. Love the purple. So, yeah. Thank just, you. Uh, Okay, go ahead and ask these ladies another question. All right, no, you had one brewing. <laughs> yeah, I had, a brewing. I had okay. one brewing. So my question yeah, is this: um, How do you feel time. about um, your partner leading in a relationship? And in your opinion, um, what is the kind of thin line between "Oh, this is a man that can lead" or "This guy's just controlling"? Like, what is your kind of difference for that? Okay, start over here. I'm Chanel, 42. Um, my limitations, what you're saying on maybe feeling that I'm being controlled. I'm telling you right now, it don't matter what these girls say. He's definitely going with the girl to the right if she doesn't pop, bro. Men only care about looks, bro. But in my relationship Versus or that a man is leading. Correct. Um, I come from a traditional background. Gender roles is very important. Um, so I'm letting y'all know right now, they could literally say the best answer in the world. Well, now nah, she actually has a, she can literally say the best answer in the world. It don't matter what she says. He is not thinking, bro, I'm t I know men. 
he does not care what she's saying he's thinking oh yeah she's chopped <laughs> she's gone she I, I i'm reading his mind she's gone that's all he's thinking so he's not listening respecting to her, the promise. man in the household whether we agree or disagree um that's something that i've raised around um public um respect is very important that i've been raised under so i would never have a disagreement with you in public um as far as controlling i'm not really sure what you mean by that um if you're saying that you need to check my phone and you need so, to like yeah so, so i'm not saying that i'm asking you what is so like so i'm asking um how do you feel about a man leading in a relationship and then i'm oh. asking you in your opinion what is the thin line between oh this is a guy who can lead versus oh no this guy's just controlling I just love a man that can make a decision, you know, make a decision and go with it. I'm a Capricorn, so. Um, oh my I'm a God, brother, answer the question, bro. She, just answer the question. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Capricorn. Like what? Answer the Realist. question. So if I see that you can't make a decision, then you can't leave. And then eventually I'll step in and make that decision. And then you might feel like that I'm overstepping you. So it's just more of a man um, knowing what he wants. I'll follow, you know what I'm saying? And if I see you got it, you know, I'll wait till you get there. But if you just, if you're too far off with leading, especially someone that has businesses, um, very attractive, um, get attention. There are some things that a, a certain type of man for me, um, they have to be a certain type of way and they have to be able to stand in front of a lot of challenges with having an attractive woman and all of the assets that come along with it so that you can stand there with your, you know, your head high. You remind me so much of my husband, I'm, my ex-husband, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love the, the bald head. <laughs> I, my family, my brother is you probably have every Jordan that ever came out. You did very well putting it together. So thank you. I'm just looking at you. That's all. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go to our next lady. If we can have your name and Tell age and right the answer. These ladies are so fucking gone. But she, she, if she has a great answer, she could probably slide. Questions. Davinia, I'm 41. Um, in answer name. to your question, I actually desire a man that can lead, a man that can make sound decisions, a man with a plan, um, but a man that also considers my needs, my wants, my desires, and my happiness. So if you're leading and you're not considering my feelings or what makes me happy or what I desire, then I think that that can become a little controlling. Um, like if I want to go out or if I want to go with these friends and you're like, you know, well, no, you know, if we have plans, I understand. But I think that's my fine line. But other than that, I, I desire a man that can lead. Not all men can lead. Absolutely. Great. Let's go down here. All right. If we can have your name and age. Put y'all on game. She actually looks good. So she can say, nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You ain't leading me and she will still get picked. I guarantee you. Answer to his question. Hey, I'm Janae, I'm 34. Um, I think a man is created to lead, so I don't mind a leader. I think that's what I'm attracting. As far as controlling, um, if you're too possessive, um, and it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So, yeah, lead, that's your job. <laughs> I respect <laughs> it 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. This is how to create best-selling print-on-demand t-shirt designs in five minutes or less. If you're an experienced your name and age and the answer to this question. Venushi, 39. I think um, every relationship starts with a foundation. Transparency and honesty, trust is a main factor. So I think when we are developing that, the leading comes with when we develop that foundation. And once we have established that, then I can trust you to lead me. So when you're asking for my phone or asking what I'm doing, then that I feel like then you're encroaching on my space. And that's something that I don't I don't subscribe to. So that's it. Yeah, great answer. She be cheating. Hey. All right, Reggie. Do what you gotta do. Let's bro. go Get ahead and pop two balloons. Here, you don't care what she said. Get her out all of right, here. All right. Um come on. I mean gang. I just have to comment. All those answers was yeah. You know what to do, <laughs> bro. It's given. Okay. Um you know what to do, but to pop two Get, on, get these two out of here, bro. All right, I'm going to go here. Pop this one. Get her out of here. Doesn't work. Out. <laughs> and I'm going to pop this one over here as well. Simple. <laughs> all right, and why did we end up Simple. popping her balloon? Um, yeah, once again, I mean, all the answers were along the same lines. You definitely, um, 
I love the qualities that you're saying and just same thing as I said. I just like a little bit of the answers a little bit better. Um, but gorgeous, great answers. I just like the other ones a little bit better. Okay. And why did you have your balloon unpop for uh, Reggie? I liked his style and I wanted to hear what he had to say. Cool. All right. And then we ended up popping this one. Why did we pop her balloon? Um, I'm beating the same drum, huh? <laughs> um, Something yeah. different. Something different. Okay, so for, I mean, you gave a great answer though. Um, so I'm just gonna say, um, yeah, I, I liked your answer. <laughs> Everybody gave her along the same line answer, but they played it their own way. Um, so you know, it's kind of like a show where you're kind of, you know, I'm the guy with the the stick. You know what I mean? So it's like hearing the answers. Like if, if everyone's giving me an A and it's like, oh, this one may be an A plus, then I just like the answer a little bit better. That's I would approach you if I seen you. Like there's nothing wrong with you. I, my type, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then why did you have your balloon um, unpop for Reggie? Um, I think Reggie's handsome, well spoken. Um, I think I've seen him on another show, so I was trying to kind of <laughs> wait and not judge by what I've seen before. So I mean, but we're good. Okay. It's a good guy. All right. So, tight. ladies, any questions for Reggie? Okay, let's start down here. Hey, Reggie. Hey. <laughs> How do you feel about celibacy? Um. So. Pretty much waiting until marriage, is that? Yeah. Um, I would say. Fuck no. So I'm I'm very spiritual, right? So for me, it's like who you give your body to. It's like soul ties to me. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. So you want to be. You don't want to just be out here going wild. <laughs> so so yeah. So I would say I will respect if that's you know decision you're making, and you know we can have conversations about it, things like this. But you want to get to know the person before you just like soul ties is a real thing. You don't want to attach your soul to someone, and then so I respect it honestly. I love that. And then one more. Um, how do you react when you don't get what you want? Um, communication, conversation. I'm big on, on talking and things like that. So if it's something like I want that, you talking about like within myself or like with my partner? With your partner. Like say if you wanted me to do something, um, how do I say it? Just anything. Say you want me to do something. I'm like, I don't feel comfortable with doing that just yet. Would you shut down? Well, you did say communication, but yeah, just, yeah, yeah. something so, like that. So, no, no, no. You, like I said earlier, like trying to change someone into a, your liking is like you have to meet the person where they're at and kind of yeah. grow with them. That's how you're going to have longevity. That's how you're going to, you know, make it further and you, you get a lifelong partner. But yeah. me just trying to, or anybody just trying to change someone from the beginning, that it never ends well. So, yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Do you have kids? Yes. How many? Two. Two, you did say that. Okay. Good. Wonderful. Yes, that's good. <laughs> My boy got hit with the hardest questions any man could ever get hit with. He got hit with the heart the questions from hell. I would have got I would have got popped. I ain't gonna lie. When she would have been with that sellers and see, I would have man, I would have been like, shit, fuck that. Nah, nah. Hey, my boy, I'm taking this shit. My nigga said, nah, soul ties is a real thing. You feel me? I'm spiritual. I don't know what I'm saying you gotta wait to see who you you know what I'm saying? I like that. And I already told you who he was picking from the jump. It don't matter, bro. It don't matter about answers. Guys only care about attractiveness. As long as you don't say some off the wall nut shit, you good. Shawty, bro, it's over for this girl in the black dress. I will bet my whole house on it. He does not pick the girl in the black dress. I promise you. Okay, any questions over here? I um, how old are you. your kids? Um, 13 and 14. Do you want more kids? I just always said I would have another uh, kid with a wife. With the wife, so you want to get married? Uh, I, it's definitely in my vocabulary, it's in my plans. If I find the right person, absolutely. Because I do. Have you ever been married? To the Lord. I've never been married. He's just making you laugh. Oh. <laughs> where where did you boy. say you're from? I'm also from Virginia. You live there now? No, I live here. Oh, what part? Here? Mm -hmm. Um, Avondale. Oh, okay. All right. Um, do you cook? Um, I'll motivate you in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I cook. Okay. You're not going to motivate me. But do you know how to grill? Um... It's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. <laughs> okay. Other than that, I don't know. I don't have any other questions for you. Okay. You shut up, Shadi. You ain't getting paid. Ready? Time to make a decision. So we've got two beautiful ladies. Absolutely. I know it's gonna be a tough choice, but we do have to pop one of their balloons. Great questions. Great answers. Great outfits. Everything is literally beautiful. But if I have to pop one, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one. 
No way! This nigga <laughs> didn't pick her. Okay. Didn't Why did we end up popping what? her balloon? Um, man. Um, I feel like we would mesh um, well. I, I feel like you are you spiritual. Very. Yeah, because when I mentioned the soul tie, I see how you kind of lit up for that. So yeah. I feel like we would have mentioned in that way. Um, <laughs> we're beating the same drum, but literally, <laughs> I think just from all the questions I've asked, all the questions that's been asked to me, I match with her um, a little bit more. I love how intentional you are, and Absolutely. I hope you find your match. Definitely. Respect. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> let's go on back. Okay, let's bring you on up. Come on up. Come on hey, up. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So... Any final questions between the two of you before? Any questions for me? Um, yes, nigga. Yeah, I have one more question. One more question. Okay. All right. So my question is this. Um, so my family dynamic is kind of different. Like, I'm not necessarily close to my biological family, but I've had friends who have kind of become my family. Stupid. What are you doing? So my question to you is this. Um, what are your thoughts on family? And as far as your family is concerned, like, how does their opinion on the person you're dating kind of affect the relationship? I have a very big family and we're very close. Um, very respectable, like I said, gender roles. It's my, their opinion is very important to me because I spend a lot of time with my family whenever we're together. Like right now, it's the holiday weekend. I have family here until tomorrow. They've been here for a week or so. Um, we get together, we have, you know, and we bring our significant others. Okay. Um, so good. I'm not sure how comfortable you are in that environment, but my family's gonna, ask you questions and they're gonna want to know what you're about and i'm gonna pay attention to that so that perfectly answered perfectly answered oh, <laughs> oh, is it gonna be a yes for you for him it's a yes ah, is it a yes for you for her absolutely we got a match <laughs> i'll go ahead and take this mic and you guys can go on up Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm James. I'm from Indiana. Okay. How are you? How you guys Fuck doing? I'm <laughs> ending the video, man. I'll, I'll, I'll react to this in another video. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. That shit just pissed me off, bro. That shit just pissed me off. 